let's learn about transformation of equations and we will do that using a problem from ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance 2021 this is objective problem number two it's a very beautiful problem and our method will be the same as before we want to learn something and while learning it we want to solve the problem if you are new to this channel you can always click on the link in the description to access a free, free toolbox this toolbox is useful for math olympiad for isi entrance for college mathematics and for research you can also check out chinta.com for more resources now let me describe the problem it's very simple it says that suppose we have an equation 2 plus log base 2 x minus 2 equals to log x minus 2 8 we want to find the sum of all solutions sum of all solutions of this equation so it might seem a little bit challenging because it involves logarithmic function and we are usually habituated in solving equations which are quadratic or cubic and so on how can we solve equations involving other types of functions so let's try to see how we can do this we will actually use a method called transformation so we will transform this equation into a polynomial let's see how we can do that so 2 plus log x minus 2 base 2 equals to log x minus 2 in the base 8 so we can actually simplify this uh, we know that log of a b is log a over log b and here the base can be anything you can make the base as e for example if you want or any other base this is a standard formula from logarithmic functions so we will be using that so this is e this this implies 2 plus log x minus 2 divided by log 2 equals to log 8 by log of x minus 2 now of course 8 is 2 cube so i can change this 8 into 2 cube let's do that let's rewrite it as 2 cube and we can bring this exponent to the front that's a standard formula for log for logarithm you can bring the exponent of the argument to the front so i can in fact erase this 3 and bring it to the front okay so one thing that you can observe here is that this thing right here and this thing right here these two are reciprocals of each other so if one of them is y then the other one is 1 over y so in fact we will be writing that if this thing is y then this particular thing right here is 1 over y so this is the transformation part of the entire story we will be replacing this fraction this expression right here by a letter called y and similarly we will be replacing this one by 1 over y 
that will highly simplify everything so let's do that let's write it like this 2 plus y equals to 3 by y that's what we had right 2 plus y equals to 3 times 1 over y that's what we have here so let's cross multiply y so what we have is 2y plus y square equals to 3 or y square plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 which means we can now factorize this y minus 1 to y plus 3 equal to 0. So that means y is equals to 1 or y is equals to negative 3. We have two solutions. Now let's go back to the transformation. Log of x minus 2 by log 2 is my y. So I will do that. So log of x minus 2 by log 2 is y. So that's either 1 or log of x minus 2 by log 2 is negative 3. Okay, so now from the first one, from the first equation, we can just simply cross multiply this. So we get log of x minus 2 equals to log 2. So since logarithm is a monotonic function, this is very important. Sometimes uh, kids miss this part of the argument. So I will write it here. Since log is a monotonic function, of course, you can say that, okay, this is a multiple choice question problem. Why do I need to write this or whatever? But you should at least know this because when the same idea comes up again in a subjective problem, you should be able to write it. So since log is a monotonic function, you can compare the arguments, compare the inputs. So that means you can say that x minus 2 is equals to 2 or x minus 2 is equals to 2. And here, this one is log of x minus 2 equals to negative 3 log 2. So this thing also gives us the second solution. So this first one gives you x equals to 4. That's great. The second one tells you that, okay, let me go to a new page, log of x minus 2 equals to put the negative 3 in the power so log of 2 to the power negative 3 so x minus 2 is equals to 1 over 8 so i'm just comparing the argument part of this so we have x is equals to 2 plus 1 over 8 or 17 over 8 so you are interested to find the sum of the roots so it's 4 plus 17 over 8. So can you find me the sum of the these two expressions and give me the final value in the comment? You can always go to the uh, link in the description to access more resources. If you have just given the ISI entrance, I want to tell you that uh, there is a very beautiful world of mathematics waiting for you. You can learn more about it from our college mathematics program and so on. So, I'll see you in the next problem, but till then, keep on doing great mathematics and stay happy.